This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. Well, so much for any of those teeny weedy itsy bitsy yellow polka dot bikini hopes the Raptors had of sneaking into a playoff spot. Their best player is gone, likely for the rest of the season. Scotty Barnes went up to block a shot against the visiting Warriors. He jammed his left hand, suffering a broken bone in his finger. He left the game, had surgery, and won't likely be back this season. That's a tough hole to fill. Life after Scotty began against the Hornets. R.J. Barrett looking to pick up some of the slack. Barrett steals, and he'll take this all the way to the 10. R.J. led the Raps with 23 points. Ken Olenek, who just signed a contract extension, spots Emmanuel quickly cutting in. IQ had 22. Olenek gives to quickly again. He drives, kicks up to Grady Dick. The rookie knocks down the triple, wraps over Charlotte, 111-106. For the second time in three years, the Maple Leafs made a trade deadline deal to acquire Ilya Labushkin. They landed the big, tough Russian defenseman from Anaheim, giving up a third-round pick to the Ducks and a sixth-rounder to Carolina. They also get unsigned Kane's draft pick, Kirill Slepitz. It all makes a cap hit work for the Leafs. The Buds were in desperate need of a right-shot defender. They wanted Chris Tanna, but the Flames dealt him to Dallas. Rangers and Leafs, two of the best in the East, getting it on at Scotia Bank Arena. Rookie Matt Rempe and veteran Ryan Reeves here. They needed a shootout. Four rounds. Max Domi with the winner. Leafs take a 4 3, but they dropped one to the rival Bruins. Sid Crosby and the Penguins facing Connor McDavid and company. Oilers break out three on one. Ryan McLeod in front for Corey Perry, starting to get feel pretty comfortable in Edmonton now. Then off the draw, Evan Bouchard over to Leon Dreisaitl in front for Zach Hyman. Hyman second of the night, 42nd of the season. Oilers romp six to one. Jets at Carolina. Winnipeg rallies from three down. Nate Schmidt centers for Nino Niederreiter, who tips in his first of two. Peter Kachatov, way out of the net for the poke check. But it doesn't pan out. Sean Monahan will finish it off. Jets score five in a row for the uh, for the win, 5-3. Next day in Buffalo, another Jets comeback. Murray Barrett in the wing, wires it. Jets beat Buffalo 5-2. Canucks and Ducks, J.T. Miller drops from Nikita Zadorov. He waits, sends a sensational feed in front for Connor Garland for the redirect. That was your winner. Nucks take it 2-1. Well, a great start for the John Herdman era for Toronto FC. Lorenzo Insigne did the damage. Sweet flick into the top corner. That was it. Reds marched into Gillette Stadium in New England and stopped the revolution. 1-0 in the season opener. Phillies and Jays. Vlad Guerrero Jr. got off the schneid. Mighty swat off this Nick Nelson offering. Long gone. Jays flushed the Phils 5-2. Another gold medal for Canada's Sarah Mitten. The 27-year-old from Brooklyn, Nova Scotia, captured the women's shot put at the World Athletic Indoor Championships in Glasgow, Scotland. Her first throw clinched the gold at 20.20 meters. Her second throw, even better, 20.22 meters. Both shattered the Canadian record. She is also reigning outdoor silver medalist and in great shape heading to the Paris Olympics. Toronto Rockets, San Diego, battling for top spot. Tom Schreiber breaks the tie with this laser. Schreiber had three goals, four helpers. Mark Matthews had an eight-point night, collected point number 1,000. Rock topped the Desert Dogs 15-13. They're now 10-2. Saskatchewan rush at Colorado Mammoth. Ryan Keenan had a night. Keenan is allowed to walk right in. Buries one of his five goals in the game. Rush Mall, the Mammoth, 15-7. Lyle Thompson had himself quit the game. Thompson is one of the most gifted players in lacrosse. He scored four times, also set up two others to lead the Georgia Swarm to a 12-11 win over the Halifax Thunderbirds. Another night, another strap for Canada. Sadiq Singh, the hard-punching Ajax fighter, rolled through Gino Natalio Godoy of Argentina with a fourth-round knockout at Toronto's Great Canadian Casino to capture the IBF International Super Welterweight title. Singh is now 18-0. Ricardo, Big 12 Brown, also kept his perfect record intact, 11-0, with 11 quick KOs. The latest, another first-round knockout over Rafael Sanchez Rojas, big right hand. Well, Billy's, uh, England's Billy Ellington outputted Mark Smither for the IBO International Super Lightweight Belt. Time now for our shot of the week. 
This was the second of back-to-back -back birdies at El Tigre, number 15. Four! Four. The shot of the week is brought to you by Sleepy Hollow Country Club. 60 years of tradition, providing a challenging and enjoyable golf experience just minutes from Toronto.